Welcome to HamFest Huntsville 2021. Another video showing you something you've probably never seen before. As I scroll through over here on the, the uh, swap meet section, I saw a table and I met David from E-Factor Antennas, and I want to see what you think about this and check these out. Hello, David. What's going on? How you doing, sir? Good, good. So tell me about tell me about this. I, I seen somebody bought one, and they said, Eric, you got to check this out. And then I came over here and see. What do we have here, David? Well, we got a dual band antenna. It's called the E-Factor Dual Band. Uh, it's eFactoryAntennas.com. I've been making these for years. The intention was for sideband, for two meter sideband and 432. I'm I'm big into that with my 9700. Yes. Right. It's a dual band, uh, one feed. You only have one feed. And uh, it's matched to 52 ohms, and it's omnidirectional. And uh, the intention was for sideband. Right. That's what I made them for. But we have a lot of people using them on satellite TV or satellite satellite TV, right. radio. Uh huh. And uh, they work great. Uh, they were uh, debuted in, in 2006. Southern states uh, had game figures put out there, and that's on their site. And uh, I've got several several hundred customers, I don't know how many exactly, but it's a good product, it's solid, you can't bend it, wow. it's not hollow tube or anything like that. Put it on a base station, I uh, give the option of two inch U-boat uh, or a 9 16 if you want a mobile in it. Um, so it, it's it's set, everything's sealed up, it's, it's all stainless aluminum, made in the, the connector. Made but Made in the USA? Made in the USA. So you guys, you keep asking, you yep. want more USA made stuff, look, USA made. Yes, sir. And uh, it's just a great product, and uh, you can go to my website, efactorantennas.com. Here's the card, guys. I'm going to put the link in the description so you can check it out, efactorantennas.com. I see a CQ uh, VHF. Right, right. We've had articles, uh, Gordon West. Oh, I love uh, Gordo. In oh, fact, yeah. he's in all my HamFest videos. I just oh, didn't yeah, see him yeah. this year. <laughs> he has one of the antennas, and he has it on his uh, communications van, his van he uses. Uh -huh. And uh, he's talked to Hawaii several times on it. Uh, AWRL has tested the antenna and wrote a nice articles about it. You nice. Can find all that. And uh, it's just a good product. Look at the little look at the little UHF, little 436. Yeah. It's tiny. What how what does something like this weigh, uh, you know, officially? <laughs> well, I, I can tell you, yeah, I can tell you it doesn't weigh hardly anything, but it someone, don't weigh nothing. Yeah. It's all it's all aluminum short of the short of the connector itself. Mm -hmm. uh, everything's aluminum and like I said, it's uh, it's real light and this is durable. You know, you hit a tree with it, you'd have to really hit it hard to tear Could you it use this mobile? Yeah, yeah, you said Gordon does. Yes, he yeah, does. He's got it on his van. Uh, right. You know, he lives in California. He has talked to Hawaii several times. On you know, I have a 7100 in my truck, and I might end up one day putting, I mean, I have enough antennas. It looks like a porcupine. Right. But uh, for sideband, I bet you, I, I now check this out. I did work a, uh, it was, might have been AO91 mobile one time by accident with a low elevation pass on my 91, uh, 7100. And that was with just a vertical. And I made two contacts, didn't have the camera rolling. But I wonder if I, because I travel all day at work, I wonder if I had something like this, I'd have better chance at mobile satellite, would I not? Oh yeah, yeah, you could do that. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of my customers do. Uh, wow. What they do is go to the website. I got comments, I got praises on it. I got descriptions. They show installation paper, no, uh, excuse me, installations on it, mm -hmm. on their vehicles, their homes. Oh, nice, nice. It's Guys, up. check out the website so you can see what other people are doing with them, efactorantennas.com. And uh, link is in the description. Very cool. Thanks for your time, David. Right, and uh, hopefully next time, are you going to come to Orlando or Dayton? I uh, used to go to Dayton. Uh, like I said, I'm still actually a working man, so it's kind of hard for me to leave. I am working. This is just a side uh, hobby for me. <laughs> we're going to be doing that because we'll be retired and we're going to be doing this full time. And we got a lot of new antennas coming out here in the uh-huh. Cool. Very good. Well, thank you very much, David. And everybody, check out the website. And uh, this is why you go broke going to HamFest, because you find stuff like this you just can't live without. 7-3, everybody. 7-3. I am getting one of those antennas. Don't know why I didn't buy one right now. Probably because I won't be able to fit it in my bag on the plane. I am getting one.